This kid's got a left. This kid's got a right. If he hits you once, you're asleep for the night. <laughs> and as you lie on the floor while the ref counts ten, you pray that you won't have to fight me again. <laughs> for I am the man this poem is about. The next champ of the world, there isn't a doubt. Hey you guys, Taco Bay 07 here. What is going on? I'm about to go to locations here. They were very important in the history of the famous Muhammad Ali, and I hope you enjoy it. So, join me. Well, here we go, you guys. We are in Miami's Alapada neighborhood to our first location, a home where Muhammad Ali used to live in long time ago. And as you can see, there it is. I got lost at first finding it but there it is currently right now uh the resident lives there his name is kevin ross and the first time he ever moved there he was so excited knowing that the champ used to live there and if you could tell that corner window there on the left you're about to see a photo uh where uh muhammad ali was standing there it is right there muhammad ali standing in the front yard uh i don't know what from what year to uh, he lived there, but uh, the house was bought by Ross's, the current resident parents, in 1965. They bought it from uh, Ali. So, there you have it. There's the house. Now we're on our way to Miami Beach, and this area that you see here, it is uh, Miami's Art Ditch District. They, um, it's a neighborhood that is being picked up because there's a lot of graffiti and stuff like that but it's being cleaned up and there's as you can see right there there's some art and there's like different studios and stuff there in this area so it's very nice as you can see there's more art right there so we're on our way to Miami Beach we're going to the 5th Street Gym it's going to come up soon but I hope you guys enjoy this uh, drive. Sorry, the camera's shaking there. As you can tell, I'm going to Northeast 36th Street on my way to the 5th Street Gym. Now to tell you a little bit about the gym, the 5th Street Gym is a boxing gym in Miami Beach, Florida and the site of historic run of championship fighters who trained there from the early 1950s to the present. And of course, Muhammad Ali used to train there a lot. So the gym was opened in 1950 on Washington Avenue in Miami Beach by Chris Dundee with the support of his brother, Boxing Hall of Fame inductee Angelo Dundee. The two turned the 5th Street Gym from an old building to a boxing center for professional training. So that's something that that that's good I love things like that anything to do with history or anything like that it's just amazing whoa look at that sign that must have been something that the camera was doing some effect the camera because that sign was doing that you see the art art deco historic district that's what it was where we just were and sorry it's a little bit dark it's up it's that it's that this day it was very dark and gloomy. It was raining a lot this day. And some of the places I wanted to go to, I wasn't able to get down because of the rain. And it's a very bad day for boaters. There were a lot of people boating this day, but it was very wavy. So here we are now, headed for the 5th Street Gym. And, oh, that guy's going to back up right there. So here we go. Sorry the camera's shaking so much right now. I don't know why it's doing that. It's gonna stop and there we go. Now the 5th Street Gym will be here on the right and you have to get down to really see it. I wish I was there earlier because they closed around 3 and I got here around 4.30 so I was a little bit too late. Uh, I wanted to go actually go into the gym to record for you guys, but I guess I'll do that in a later on video. But if you drive by, up oh, there's Starbucks. 
if you drive by you really won't be able to see it if you're going by so fast so you would have to really park somewhere to be able to get down and really uh, get you know the view of the 5th Street gym now as you can see there we're coming up to Pollo Tropical and if you guys haven't ever eaten there I'm not sponsoring them or anything but that's a great place to eat Latin food we're going to go in this stop right here and right where that Pollo Tropical is we're going to pass by one store that's right there you see they sell shoes there's another store right there and there it is up oh, up oh, we passed it you see what I mean and as you can see there's Ali I was able to park on the side and I got down and here it is for you guys to see how it is and I was there also with Channel 10 news they were there this was on uh, Sunday I mean on Saturday by the way the past Saturday and as you can see there's a picture of Muhammad Ali right there in the front and one of his sayings impossible is nothing and that's where he trained the 5th Street Gym Miami Beach which is very very cool and again I wish I was able to go inside to see it you could see through the window a little bit I should have recorded it more you could kind of see the ropes of uh, of the ring in there so on my right channel 10 uh, my local news station was there recording here's some photos of the champ uh, back in the day inside the gym training for his many fights and of course back in the day he was known as Cassius Clay See, I would love one of those posters that are hanging in there There he is. Look how young he looked there. And one more drive by in the Fifth Street Gym. And as you can see, there is the local Channel 10 News. ABC was there as well. Now, it really was raining. I really wanted to go in here. This is the Miami Beach Convention Center where he had his one of his first fights with Sonny Liston where he won the World Heavyweight Championship against Sonny Liston. But I really couldn't get down because it was raining, as you can see very rainy and very cold but I'm gonna drive across the street so you guys can really see I don't know if it's in here because this is a big uh, area here the Miami Beach Convention Center and uh, side C so I really don't know where it was so the first bout the first fight with Sonny Liston was held in February 1964 in Miami Beach Ali then Clay won when Liston gave up at the opening of the seventh round after being clearly dominated in the sixth. Later on, they had a second fight back in May 1965. So there are some photos, of course, of the fight. And here's some more of the front of the Miami Beach Convention Center. And I really want to know what's in there because there were people leaving inside there with bags, like shopping bags. So I guess there's like stores inside. I really don't know. You would think I would know because I live here, but you know, I really didn't know what was in there. Yeah, that's right. I'm recording you, my friend. You're there pointing, you're like, look at this guy, he's recording, what, what, what is he doing? So again, I don't know if it was here, in this specific building, I don't know what's in there. There's a guy on the phone. Straight out of something, I couldn't read what his shirt was. And watch the smoke coming out of this guy's mouth, look at that, yeah. 
I don't smoke myself, but I thought that was pretty cool. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and I'm going to edit it now when I get to my house as best as I can. I hope you enjoy it. Sorry I couldn't get down to some of these locations because it's either raining or it's private property, but uh, I had a fun time and I hope you enjoy it and uh, may the champ rest in peace. Alright my friends, see you next time. I love you all. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you all next time. Mwah! Hasta la bye bye! Thank you for watching! I love you!